Hello, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will be discussing RF output testing for the GI4000 ESU. More specifically, performing radio frequency power output testing with the ESU2400 electrosurgical analyzer. Electrosurgical generators, like the GI4000, often require periodic RF output testing in order to verify the device's safety and performance specification standards. Let's take a look at all the equipment we will need to perform RF output testing for the GI4000. To begin this test, plug the DC power adapter into the analyzer. Plug the AC power cord into the DC power adapter. Plug the AC power cord into a wall source. Plug the AC power cord into the GI4000. Plug the GI4000 into a wall source. Connect the GI4000 foot switch. Power on the analyzer. Power on the GI4000. Select Measure RF Energy from the main menu of the analyzer. Connect the monopolar test adapter to the retractable end of the yellow active test lead. Connect the monopolar test adapter to the monopolar output receptacle on the GI4000. Connect the opposite end of the active test lead to the active receptacle on the analyzer. For monopolar output testing, we will use the blue neutral electrode. Connect the single-ended connector to the PSS receptacle on the GI4000. Connect the opposite split ends of the test lead to the dispersive 1 and 2 receptacles on the analyzer. Note the change of the PSS indicator light from red to amber on the GI4000. Press the isolated generator type button to configure the analyzer for isolated generator measurements. Press the test setup button and verify the test setup matches the diagram on the analyzer. For the purpose of this test, we will only measure power output in watts. Press display parameters and select one reading. Press the milliamps button and select watts. Press the test load button. Verify the load mode is internal. Select the value next to internal load and enter 500 ohms as a load resistance. We will follow these same steps to change the load settings following the specifications in the output test table. On the GI4000, we will be measuring the cut waveform. On the main menu, select the monopolar method and the cut waveform. Adjust the power setting to 35 watts. Before activating power output on the GI4000, verify all test leads are fully connected. Power may now be activated by pressing the power foot pedal. While pressing the power foot pedal, observe the screen of the analyzer. After a second or so, the analyzer will measure the waveform power and display it on the screen. Press the hold button on the analyzer to capture the measurement. This will allow you to release the foot pedal and record the measurement. Select the argon method from the GI4000 menu. Disconnect the monopolar test adapter and yellow active lead from the GI4000. 
connect the retractable end of the yellow active lead to the right port of the argon receptacle. In order to activate power output in argon mode, we must install the argon gas canister. Carefully align and insert the canister valve end first into the argon canister port located on the right side panel of the GI4000. Turn the canister clockwise until the canister is fully engaged. The argon method screen will display a gas canister icon when fully inserted. Once the icon appears, turn the canister a quarter turn further. Adjust the power output setting to 60 watts. Select the value next to internal load and enter 500 ohms as a load resistance. Before activating power output on the GI4000, verify all test leads are fully connected. Power may now be activated by pressing the power foot pedal. While pressing the power foot pedal, observe the screen of the analyzer. After a second or so, the analyzer will measure the waveform power and display it on the screen. Press the hold button on the analyzer to capture the measurement. Disconnect the active test lead from the argon receptacle on the GI4000. Disconnect the neutral electrode cord from the GI4000 and the analyzer. We will use the bipolar test adapter to divide the active and neutral lines of the bipolar circuit. Connect each of the retractable ends of the yellow active test lead and the blue neutral test lead to the bipolar test adapter. Connect the opposite end of the blue neutral test lead to the dispersive 1 receptacle on the analyzer. To verify the test setup is correct, press the test setup button. Select the value next to internal load and enter 30 ohms as a load resistance. Select the bipolar method from the GI4000 menu. Adjust the power output setting to 20 watts on the GI4000. Power may now be activated by pressing the power foot pedal. While pressing the power foot pedal, observe the screen of the analyzer. After a second or so, the analyzer will measure the waveform power and display it on the screen. Press the hold button on the analyzer to capture the measurement. This will allow you to release the foot pedal and record the measurement. To begin the lavage pump test, Open the sterile water bottle and remove the cap. Screw the cap of the torrent irrigation tubing onto the sterile water bottle. Firmly tighten the cap. Fully open the pump head lid. With the pump head lid fully open, adjust the dials on each side of the pump head until the 1.6 mm tubing thickness indicator is aligned to the bottom of the 0.5 and 3.2 mm marker. Locate the positional markers on the flexible roller pump section of the tubing. Insert the tubing into the pump head between the two positional markers. While placing the tubing into the pump head, grasp the tubing together and gently pull upward. This will ensure that the tubing section is aligned properly in the pump head. Close the pump head lid. Place a water basin at the distal end of the tubing to capture water flow. Adjust the pump head flow rate to the minimum setting by using the water flow adjustment buttons until one LED is illuminated. Depress the irrigation foot pedal to initiate flow. While depressing the foot pedal, increase the flow rate by cycling through each level of flow from 1 to 6. Note the change in speed of counterclockwise pump head rotation as the flow rate increases. While continuing to depress the irrigation foot pedal, decrease the flow rate by cycling through each level of flow in reverse from 6 to 1. Note the change in speed of counterclockwise pump head rotation as the flow rate decreases. This concludes the functional test for the GI4000 ESU. At this point, the video has come to a conclusion. Please refer to the IEC 60601 guide the RF output testing for Class 1 Type CF medical devices, and the GI4000 instructions for use for full instructions on use of the device. To verify accurate test procedures, 
please refer to the GI4000 functional test instruction for mode selection, power settings, measurement specifications, and the most up-to-date acceptance criteria. After completing all test procedures, be sure to power down all devices and disconnect test leads. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.